Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here, and I'm on the road. I thought I would do a exciting video for everybody here today. And this video is all about working with thought medicine. Now, when I'm talking about thought medicine, it goes back a few months ago when I was talking about the youth body, right? Where I was able to, on my YouTube channel, through video progression, show the effects of a youth body uh, happening through me, right? It was a 30 day trial that I was doing where I was actually creating a symbol that I showed you guys as well too, that you guys could use as well. And through those 30 days, I was seeing a very strong uh, improvement relating to the physical youth complexion of the body. And we're just basically teaching you guys how to do this at the same time. Now that's just the tip of the iceberg. That's not even really the tip of an iceberg. That's a, <laughs> that's a small ice shard of the iceberg altogether. Now, when I'm talking about the idea of um, the thought medicine, thought medicine really represents it's kind of like we're staying in the topic where whatever it is that we want to improve upon ourselves, we're just using thought. We're not using any physical medicine, right? We're not using herbs or tonics or tinctures or dietary improvements or anything of that nature. That's all fine and good. And you can certainly do all those things in any way that you wish. But through this particular video, we're not really focusing on that. What I'm basically telling you guys is that through the power of your own thought, whatever that one thought is, you are focusing on it. Remember, I've talked about the idea of the five minute focus. Well, that's again, part of the element in this is that you want to create a diagram. You want to create an image. You want to create an impression based upon that one thought that you want to apply with yourself. So what is that? Well, let's say, for example, that you want to go into meditation and you'd like to get some spiritual downloads, all right? You would like to receive downloads from spirit about new innovations, new ideas, uh, new projects, new creations that can come forward. Well, that's very simple to do, right? All we do is like we're, ju we're just taking a picture, right? We're just creating an image. So if I was to use that example of I would like to get more downloads when I go into meditation and I would like to be inspired by those downloads to create something new. So what I would do is I would go into the five minute focus, okay? And the image that comes to mind with me is kind of looking at something like Buddha, right? Where he's meditating, we see that, that aura at the back of his head. Let's just say we see it as white light, okay? So when I'm meditating and I'm going into that stillness, I'm taking a deep breath in, I'm taking a deep breath out, I'm relaxing myself with the breath, and then I see my body just seated, like on a couch or a chair or outside, what have you. And I'm seeing that aura just illuminating at the back of my head. And that is my own thought form that relates to me receiving downloads from spirit regarding creative projects, regarding inspiration and innovation. So I'm sitting there for five minutes, just seeing myself in my mind, seated on a couch, seated on a chair, seated on the beach, which is where I am right now, <laughs> and just seeing the, the light at the back of my head. And as I go through that five minute focus and I feel that light in the back of my head, I can feel tingling sensations. This happens to me all the time when I'm meditating, right? I feel my head tingling. I feel the, the back of my head tingling. I can start to feel the neck tingling, the shoulders tingling. That is a very powerful sign. And what you're doing is you are emotionally reacting to the image of the thought medicine that you're putting into your awareness, right? So for five minutes, I'm sitting there, I see that Buddha-like aura in the background, and I'm getting more downloads through meditation, right? So after I finish that five minutes, I release everything. And now throughout the day, I'm seeing all these new inspirations, these new ideas, these new thoughts coming. Hey, what if I did this? What if I took care of that? What if this happened? What if that happened? And now it's it's so. It is done, right? All of these downloads are now constantly coming to me. I've done this in the past as well, too, with getting more downloads, right? So that's just one example. Another example in that sense is that you may want to work on healing your stomach, for example. Maybe if you had some bad 
of acid reflux, right? Your stomach's kind of in disarray, which mine was in the past. And what I would suggest is that you start looking at like some anatomy books, right? You look at the anatomy of the stomach itself. And now as you see that within your mind, you see light around it, okay? So just like the, the uh, idea I gave you before about like the Buddha, right? And seeing all that white light in the back of the head, that aura, well, that's all you're doing with the stomach. So you are training yourself to look at the stomach so you understand its geometry, right? You understand its appearance. And now you're just shrouding it, shrouding it with that same white light that you put upon yourself when you're asking for downloads, you're getting downloads from spirit. Now you close your eyes, you see the stomach within your mind, right? It could even just be an illustration. That's fine as well too. The, the mind knows that you're talking about the stomach, okay? So you're putting that light, you're putting that aura, that shrouding light around the stomach, and now you're just seeing the stomach in perfect wellness. That's it, that is exactly what the image within your mind is saying. My stomach is in perfect wellness. And that image that I see within my mind right now of that illustration of the stomach and the shrouding white light that's directly behind it, that is my stomach in perfect wellness. And we focus on that for five minutes. After we're done, we carry on with our day. We don't even give it a second thought. We come back to it the next day, we do the same thing. My stomach in perfect wellness, seeing that shrouding light behind it. Five minutes, carry on with your day. Day three, five minutes, stomach in perfect wellness, carry on with your day. And you repeat, you do this every single day. If you wanna do it for 10 minutes or 15 minutes, that's up to you. If you wanna do it multiple times per day, that's up to you too. But as soon as we're done with that five minutes or 10 minutes, whatever you wanna do, okay, I just say, as long, as long as you do the five minutes, that's like the minimum, okay? You do the five minutes, after that, you let it go. You release it. Now, as the days pass, you notice, oh my goodness, I don't have acid reflux anymore. I've been looking into my, I'm feeling myself out right now. And I've been doing the five minute focus for about four days. The acid reflux is gone. My stomach feels better. It's not grumbling. It doesn't feel sore, right? All of that pain is now completely gone. This is working. There you go. This is thought medicine. This is the most powerful medicine there is. This is not to say that you're you're giving up on your, your own food plan, that you're giving up on, you know, physical medicines that you're taking because that has its place as well too. You're not giving up on your exercises because that has its place as well too. But you are working together with the power of thought medicine and what the body is doing is it's working together in harmonizing that. What you're doing is you're molding a new body. Right, so first day it's the stomach. Now you now, uh, uh, you do that for seven days. And now you go ahead and you do that with the lungs, right? The lungs is the next thing. And then maybe you do the liver after that. And maybe you do the kidneys, you do the intestines, etc. It goes on and on, it never ends. Uh, well, it does, but <laughs> it's just letting you know that through the power of thought medicine, you are like looking at a, a block of clay here and you're reshaping your body in every particular facet that you want. Even when you're, for example, utilizing the, the stomach repair, right? When you're doing the perfect wellness of the stomach, you say, I want to have the same kind of stomach I had when I was 18 years of age. And so we go back into that 18 year old self, right? We just kind of look into his or her body. We see that the stomach is in perfect condition. Right? We can use that illustration in the anatomy books as well too. But we're also saying this is my 18 year old stomach. Okay, And now again, that white light shines upon it in the background, it's shrouding it. And now you're using thought medicine to not only bring perfect wellness to the stomach, but you're reversing the age of the stomach. I've shown you guys how to do this, right? By working with the youth body. So you're actually making your organs younger. If you continue to be consistent with this each and every single day, once a day, right, for five minutes, the five minute focus on using thought medicine, you are going to actually notice that over time, it could be anywhere, I mean, it just depends on how much you do, but it could be from, again, 30 days, because I demonstrated it for 30 days. 30 days, you notice that your body is youthful again, right? You could be 65 years old, right? And you're going into your body and you're cleaning out the organs. You could even do multiple organs at the same time. It's your, it's your thought. <laughs> it 
your creator here, right? You're going in and you're polishing your body, right? And for that, after say 30 days, you're noticing, oh my goodness, I feel so much younger right now. I'm even looking younger. My skin looks younger. My eyes look younger. My face looks younger. My body looks younger, right? I'm not giving up on any of my physical routines. I'm not giving up on going to the gym. I'm not giving up on eating well. I'm not giving up on using tinctures or tonics or anything of that nature. I'm still doing all of that. But again, I'm working with thought medicine. So that is the that is the greatest benefit that you can give to yourself. If you can think it and you can apply it to yourself, it can happen, right? You have to see yourself as that block of clay. You are shaping everything. You're giving yourself a new heart. You're giving yourself a youthful heart. You're giving yourself a youthful stomach. You're giving yourself a youthful complexion, right? It's exactly what a lot of our star family does. Not only do they have technology that can reverse their genetics to a younger format, but they can also use the power of their thought. They basically just take a thought and they hold it. And they can hold the thought there all day long. And now they can actually reverse their age. Their DNA works together in kind because DNA reacts to the nature of thought. So the whole key here is being able to work with the thought medicine. Thought medicine is, again, what's creating cures for absolutely everything that you feel you have, right? So many of us are worried about uh, COVID or worried about uh, insomnia or worried about uh, influenza, what have you. You can dissolve all of that overnight, right? If you see yourself greater than the problem, there is nothing that you can't do. Right? It is when we basically feel, I can't solve this problem. This problem is beyond me. I'm eating all these things. I'm doing these diets. I'm exercising, but I'm not seeing results. What's happening? Because you are thought impaired. You have made the thought of the problem greater than the thought of the cure. Right? So every time you're putting these thoughts into action, this thought medicine is the cure. It is the antidote. Right? So many of us are concerned about uh, what's happening with, with the jabs, with, with pokes, right? with inoculations. And am I going to get sick? Am I going to have this? Not if you have a healthy immune system. Well, how do I do that? Well, I just told you. <laughs> how do you have a healthy stomach? How do you have a perfect well stomach? How do you have a perfect well intestines? Right? You're working with your immune system. So you invoke an image. You create an image with an immune system. Maybe that's just seeing yourself with a golden aura seated in a chair, right? And that golden aura is beautiful and luminous. And that is you telling your mind, this thought equals a perfect, well-balanced immune system, immune to any virus, immune to any disease, immune to any parasite, immune to anything that could be contracted to me. I'm completely free of it. I have a perfect, well-balanced immune system. And I see myself seated in a chair with an aura of golden light. Is that thought that you have just conjured up now, is that thought stronger than the problem? Yes, it is. There you go. It'll work. Right? So as long as we keep making the thoughts stronger than the problems, you're going to remain in problems. Right? You can eat all the healthy food that you want. You can exercise all that you want. You can meditate all that you want. But if that problem is being larger than anything that you are trying to cultivate as an antidote, as a cure, as a thought medicine, that problem is going to remain because it's up here. Everything that you try to do is down here. You still don't think it's enough, right? You still think the problem surges over you. Guess what you're doing? You're creating the problem. You have made the problem greater than the thought to cure it. So you have to do this. Down goes the problem. Up goes the cure. Up goes the antidote, the thought medicine. That is what's going to make a difference. Now, as you work with that thought medicine, you start creating these simple images. You start doing the five minute focus. You start feeling better. You know, like I said, you do it for a solid 30 days, for example, because that's what I did with a youth body. All right. You're doing that for 30 days. And now you're seeing so much improvement within yourself. The acid reflux is gone. My liver feels better. I'm losing weight. 
my skin complexion looks good. I feel like I've taken 15, 20 years off of my body. I feel great. I look at myself in the mirror naked and I say, whoa, who's that stud muffin? Who's that babe, right? <laughs> so again, that, that's the key. That's the key to thought medicine, right? It's making the thought medicine, it's making the medicine far greater than the problem, okay? This is why so many of you come to me. You say, Brad, I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. I keep trying to do these healthy exercises. I keep doing these diets. I'm doing yoga, but I still don't feel better. And I say, well, what is it that you're that you're concerned about? I just feel like I'm sluggish and that I'm I'm uh, I don't have any energy in me and myself. I say, well, what is what do you feel is is relating to that? Right? We look into a certain few things. So yeah, I have some problems with my family. I have some problems with my friends. I really don't like my work. There you go. There you go. There you go. You have adopted thoughts that are the problems that are becoming stronger than anything that you consider to be the antidote. If you cannot make peace with the scenario that you are a part of, then that is, of course, what's causing this, this surge of problems that are going to reflect upon your body. Your body is a living canvas. Your body is that block of clay. And if you are shaping it into anguish, it becomes so. So again, if you cannot be in harmony, with what you are currently dealing with, you need to look into that. What can I do to achieve clarity that will prevent me from sabotaging myself in making myself have thought poisons rather than thought medicines? Because where there's medicine, there's poison as well too, right? And of course, one of the biggest po poisons is the ego, right? That is what poisons all of these things. So the key here is like I've talked about, self-awareness is you're going into permanence, right? You are making yourself so unbelievably happy, so permanently happy because you know that you are God, you know that you are the self, you know that you are I. And with that, you know that happiness is, is permanent within me. There's nothing I have to do in this world that is telling me this is what I have to do to find happiness. Your happiness is where your heart is. Your happiness is where God is. Your happiness is where the self is. It's in permanence, right? So make yourself permanently happy, as I talked about regarding self-realization. When you're working with thought medicine, make the medicine stronger than the poison. So it really just comes down to these things is that so many of us uh, look into these situations where we're having problems with the parents, we're having problems with our job, we're having problems with money, and we make that the worst thing in the world. We basically create it into a cataclysm. Right? The cataclysm is problems with my parents. What can you do with that situation to make peace? Oh, I don't know. Yes, you do. <laughs> yes, you do. You know, you just don't think you can do it because the ego is, is basically trying to call the shots here. You have to lower the poison. You have to minimize the poison so that the cure is a hundred times more powerful, a thousand times more powerful, right? Look into the clarity what actions can you take to bring clarity to the situation of the problem that you yourself invented? You invent all your problems and you invent all your cures, right? Everything in regards to life. I don't care who you think is responsible. They're not. It's you, right? So if you have a problem with your mom, it's your problem. You have a problem with your job, it's your problem. You have a problem with finances, it's your problem. You have a problem with the world, it's your problem. All of it is your problem. And you have not allowed yourself to go into clarity, to be clear about these things. What can I do to resolve this issue? What can I do that will bring clarity to this situation so it's no longer poisoning my body where I feel sluggish, where I feel harsh, I feel like I have no energy at all? It's because you're draining yourself, voluntarily draining yourself with these thoughts. Whether you think they're conscious or subconscious, doesn't matter. It's all the mind, right? You are just being aware of these things, right? You got all my videos on my channel to look at where I talk about these things extensively, right? There's no more excuses. If you really want to get better, you have to cease creating the thought poison. You got to stop creating the problems and you need to look into clarity. And like I said, just with the idea of creating thought medicine, there's the clarity right there. I'm going to see things 
amazing. I'm going to see my body in great youth. I'm going to see my body healthy again, well again. I'm going to see it transformed into something amazing, and something beautiful. There you go. Is that stronger than the problem? Yes, so much more. Great. You're on your way. Do the five minute focus. Work with this. The sky's the limit, right? I would say there is no limit. <laughs> it's your unlimited capability to think. It's your unlimited capability to go in and fish for a thought that says, this is my youth body. This is my perfect stomach. This is my perfect heart. This is me reversing 30 years off my life, right? And basically going back to a 20 year old self or a 30 year old self, what have you. I'm taking those 20 years, 30 years off my life. Um, well, I would say 20, 30 years of, of old age off of my life, right? And I'm making it into a great youth body improvement, right? I'm going to reverse my age 20 years. I'll reverse my age 30 years. Maybe that sounds better. <laughs> and I'm going to do that. And that's going to be my focus. That's going to be my intention. If I can do it five minutes a day for 30 days, because that's all I did. I can tell you that you're going to see some really positive results as long as you make the thought medicine stronger than the thought problem. So give it a try. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And I'll speak to you again in the next video. Take care and may it be well with you. Goodbye. Thank you very much for checking out the New Earth Teachings YouTube channel. Feel free to check out my websites, newearthteachings.com, healingcodecards.com, healingcodeshop.com. Go on to healingcodecards.com to grab your body deck and your mind deck, also available in digital versions as well. And of course, you can follow me on social media, on Facebook, on MeWe, and of course, on Telegram as well. Thank you again for tuning in, and I'll speak to you again in the next video. Take care, and show the way.